All right, and welcome to the Camera Ninja. Um, we're back and talking about the question I posted yesterday. You know, dead wags. Do we need them? Are they useful? Are they useless? What color? Uh, I'm going to start with, you know, the answers I got from online. Didn't get any call-ins, but wasn't really expecting any of this for the first time doing it. So, you know, it's going to take a bit for that. Did get some comments on Facebook, so we can go through those real quick. Um, from the group WNY Airsofters. Uh, I've got Tracy Bloom. Uh, he says, I've always have a dead wag, um, but I also have the red light on top of my helmet. Um, yeah, I have something to let them know you're out dead on in the moment of the game. The hand in the air works, but he's noticed that you still get shot at when your hand is up. The red usually helps know to not fire in your direction, at least. He also says, the color's not that big of a deal as long as it's visible. You know, with night games, you've got the red light, or at least you should. And it sucks you get shot walking back to spawn, but it's airsoft. Uh, in the same comment thread, Justin Lyman, Lemon, whichever, let me know, uh, says, yes, dead rags and red light should be used for obvious reasons. Red is just fine, in my opinion. And I got only two more, but it was nice because I did get some of the other side uh, from the airsoft hangout page uh, group. A dead rag can be useful. Oh, this is Nicholas Smotrilla. A dead rag can be useful in a game where the player stays in the field of hit. Like buddy medic uh, system or even in bigger milsome games where there's dedicated medics. Like that. You know, I think that in other cases, most players, most fields have a dead player channels. Um, these are paths that dead players take to get back to spawn. And most players know about them. So dead players are easily spotted and out of the way. Um, and in CQB, dead rags are even less needed because you would pull it out for less than 30 seconds before respawning. Uh, and then finally, Billy Pittman says he remembers playing uh, backyard airsoft and getting hit. So he put up his hand, but he still get hit three or four more times. And he says maybe dead rag would have helped. So it depends on what type of game you're playing. So this is cool. You know, I had a couple of people who complained. Um, well, they didn't complain, but they were asking, you know, why is anyone even asking this question? You know, and this was kind of why. One, because it's easy. It's the first time I'm doing this. I want to kind of, you know, start with a sort of softball <laughs> kind of idea. But um, also because, you know, there was some discussion. You know, there's people with different ideas about it. So it's neat having this debate on it. Personally, I'm always for anything that helps people not get overshot. Because in the general play of game, you know, the more time somebody gets overshot, the more likely they ought to freak out and yell. And then the more likely there's a fight or something, you know, and the less chance of that happening, the better. Plus, it's great for other players, you know, actually still in the game, because now they don't have to worry about you personally in terms of the strategy or the tactics. You know, if there's... A person to the left and they get them and they're out they know they can move left if the person just puts his hand up the person's not sure you know and it's kind of messing up everyone else's plan on the field um even if you have you know even in cqb if you've only got 30 seconds or so before you respawn it's still going to help people and again for those 30 seconds you know you won't get lit up ideally <laughs> uh so yeah, i'm super in favor of dead rags of the red lights of anything you know, that keeps, that lets players know as best as possible that, hey, he's out. He's going back to spawn. Uh, color, I don't think matters. I think as long as it's a bright color and it's noticeable, so it's not something like dark green or even a dark, really just no dark colors, but yellow, orange, red, you know, I think those will work fine. Uh, but yeah, this actually worked out pretty nice. I didn't get any call-ins on the Anchor app, but I wasn't expecting any really because... No one's, I think, following me um, from the SF groups yet. So I'm sure that'll pick up as time goes on. But plenty of comments. Really cool. Uh, yeah, if you listen to this, you know, uh, follow me on the Anchor app. Uh, it's for iPhone, Android. It's fun. It's a fun little podcasting app. Really easy to use. Um, or just follow me on Facebook, Camera Ninja. I'll be posting the stuff there as well. So that way you can get notified when it's up. Alright, well that'll be it for this one. Um, let me know if there's anything I screwed up. <laughs> I'm sure the internet will let me know later, though. So. See ya!